All right, guys, I ain't gonna cap. We got to almost plat. And I got so pissed I have not played this game in who knows how long. I am more committed to getting to diamond. At least plat. <laughs> All right. This is a pretty good... Actually, yo, we kind of win here. I don't even care what he's playing. I think we kind of win here. All right. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I'm very scared. I am... What the fuck, dog? Can I play Yu-Gi-Oh? This is why I fucking quit Master Duel. Oh, my God. I don't even care that I won. It, it's it's stupid. We're going against Unchained. Okay. Huh. We won't be needing this card. I have a strong feeling that now it's not a good card to play. Fuck. Yo, Jet! The infinite IQ play! <laughs> you play Unchained so they don't duster you! And then you play real back row! I fucked! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bro, we played the correct thing and we we lost. So now we negate the Unchained Soul of Rage. I, I That card is so important to them. I don't think we care about what he gets. They aren't fiends in the graveyard, my friend. You're right. We got Z-World on the field. Zombie World putting in work and I ain't even know it. Forgot all about that. So now on a standby phase, we get Balardrock back. And this card will be able to negate his monster effects and banish. He plays another one. Why could... Oh, it was in the damage step. Makes sense. He has no effects? Yeah, I was just going to go for Gang. I was like, I don't think he knows. I'm not sure if he knows. Well, I'm looking like this for two reasons right now, guys. Should I just fuck this? Did I just like lose this game? Lightning Storm. I, I think we lose, guys. No. Nope. Yeah, bish. That's all I got. Don't draw a monster for the rest of this game. That'd be nice. <gasps> Yo! I see an opening, guys. Bro, we are playing the Yuna Zombie beatdown. Bro! He doesn't see it coming. Yuna Zombie control, my friends. Hey, yo, Ban, Ban, who just said that? Ban, who just said that? What the? F
At least I get to see his hand. I don't get to see his hand no more? <laughs> don't have the Gravekeeper. Oh, boy! Chat! Chat! You and a zombie control! Let's go! <laughs> you and a zombie control, chat! We draw the Mag C. <laughs> we advance our forces on the morrow. <laughs> we gotta save again. I don't have a choice. He's not gonna summon two monsters. Full commit. We have to. We have to. Yo! You about to get clapped! I think we're in a really solid spot against our worst deck ever. Yo! We clapped our worst matchup! <laughs> ah, yes. 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 Let's go. Guys, what the fuck did bro? He had to have some stuff like this face down, guys. He had to have some stuff like this. It had to be. Thank you. Oh my God, guys. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck. Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo! Homie had a drum card in a bando! Homie had a drum card in the bando! What? <laughs> Yo, you Yu Gi Oh players are wild! Oh, shit. He really had it in the bad dough. <laughs> His palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. His vomit on the sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting. We're going second with evenly matched and the droplet. We're going second with evenly matched and the droplet, guys. A zombie world and a bloom. And then a cold by the grave, guys. Yo, 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 yo. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it, guys. Fuck. Fuck. I hate this deck. Shit! What? What's his face down, guys? Do I know it? I think that this is the best approach. I don't know what he's going to make.
Well, we won. I'm not going to cap. That was very uneventful. I was just thinking. I was like, should we call by the link four or should we? Bro, did that have to be the last one? Look, I ain't going to complain. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not going to complain. 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 We did it! Blood with Zombie World. Guys, 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 guys. Going through this profile, guys, keep in mind, we built this zombie deck on a complete budget, a strict budget. We use nothing but the gems given to us. I ran three copies of Glow Up Bloom. And the reason why I ran three copies of Glow Up Bloom is so I can see it in my hand as soon as possible to be able to discard it with cards like Lubellion, uh, Super Polymerization, and Forbidden Droplet. Three copies of Unizombie. I, I hated this card, but I loved it when seeing what Branded Fusion because when you summon this card and it gets ashed, you can then have no fear and just activate Branded Fusion. And since I play a high number of cards that I want to discard with Lubellion, then I was pretty much home free. Uh, one copy of Ash. That's all we could afford. We may have seen it like three times. Never used it. It never came up. Ash is a bad card. Uh, I decided to play multiple or six normal summons because I really needed to see a normal summon to get my cards into the graveyard. And plus, to be honest, Gozuki is the better uh, starter because if this card does get negated with Ash, Imperm, or Effect Failure, it does sit on the, on the field for another turn and can still activate its effect. It's a little bit chunkier and it can special summon to the side of the field. Um, Necro Banshee, uh, this card's the best card in the deck. <laughs> Hands down, this is the best card in the deck. I mean, other than the branded, the branded engine, this is the best card because Zombie World has won us so many games, guys. There were so many times where we just go activate Zombie World and we win. So there's that. Uh, two copies of Albas. There are times where we summon, normal summon Albas uses effect of fusion summon. The card's pretty good for the Albas engine. Branded Fusion, best card. This is the sole best card in the deck. Because it can send cards like Necro or Banshee and Glow Bloom to the graveyard to get our combo going to get us in zombies. It's essentially a foolish burial and a Unizombie from hand. So like this is the best card in the deck. Uh, zombie World is an instant win against a lot of decks. Unfortunately, Super Polymerization is at two. But this is one of the most busted board breaking Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we have in our arsenal. Because we can pretty much always fuse as long as we have Zombie World on the field. Double Call by the Grave to stop stuff. A lot of times when I get max seed, I don't even call by the grave the max seed because I only special summon once. So like, I'll let him get it and I'll save the call by the grave for other cards. Droplet was probably one of the better cards in the deck because it did allow us to send cards like uh, Banshee or Glo Bloom into the graveyard and that's, or even uh, our Ban our Baladrock. And that's why I played so many copies of these cards because I wanted to get them to the graveyard and this helped us negate a board and get it to the graveyard. Uh, evenly matched came up. I think it was maybe two games where evenly matched didn't come up. Any other time I drew evenly matched, it came up. But a lot of times, they make it a priority to get rid of our zombie world so we can evenly match. Uh, I actually only played this card because it was really cheap. For the extra deck, uh, one Dragon Necro, that's a super poly target. Starving Venom, super poly target. In order of cards that I summon the most, Dragon Necro, then Predaplan, Drago, Stapelia, because Despia is really important. Sometimes I summoned this card, but it, it was it was rare. Uh, Link Rebo comes up. Because it makes uh, Zombie World plus the Glow Bloom full combo. You just summon the Glow Bloom under Zombie World, turn it into a Link Rebo, you get your Balor Drop. Nightmare Phoenix came up way too many times. Way too many times to count. This card was like a lot of new players, they'll summon the Doom King, like they'll summon this with their Doom King Balor Drop, expecting Balor Drop to summon itself to the side of the field to gain a draw. But the higher you get up on the ladder, you got to remember the more people have access to knowledge, which means the more call by the graves they'll play, which means that that becomes inherently a bad play. So I would be very cautious with summoning this card. This card came up the most out of all of our cards in our extra deck, not the Albas package. Of course, I will continue the Zombie to Diamond series and possibly this will make a return to YouTube when we get further. But... The way shitty Master Duel is, and the season's deranking us, and I'm pretty sure the demand of players wanting to see other decks, we are going to put it on hold for YouTube. But what other 
deck should we take the diamond? What, what, what other deck? What other deck? I really want to know. I'm excited to be able to challenge new things. When we picked up Zombie World, Pot of Prosperity was at three. Hockley Fibrix was unbanned. We had so many options, but now it feels like Albaz.deck. So, want to change to something else, and I want to hear what you guys have to see. That is... All that we have for Zombie to Diamond on YouTube for right now. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if you want to see more amazing Master Duel Cali, check out these videos. They are exciting.